follow the stream. We stream this local every Sunday here at Castleburg Brewery and Tap Room. Also, come check us out. We usually have a ton of entrance, which we do again this week. We'll be running, rocking over 60 people for singles, including the likes of some of some of the top talent in Virginia. Players like Click. I've, I've heard a rumor Waddy's coming. We got Madison Turner here. We got A Marks. We got Vice Roy. We got uh, Ray, OJ Wadler, all of the great Seville players. Tons of talent from Sova. Absolutely awesome to see. Looking forward to seeing how singles unfolds. But we're moving right here into winner's finals. Let's see if Viceroy and Amarks uh, had a close set, but managed to stay alive. Juno and Orange Lightning had a close set, managed to stay alive. This is a very competitive bracket. All right, same teams. The Min Min and the Rose and Luma. Viceroy does play heavy characters as well. He's got a, a DK as well that uh, puts in a lot of work. But keeping it serious, he's putting on the suit and tie, going to work, sticking with the Rosa and Luma. No fair. They've got three characters. It's doubles. All right. Start things out on Pokemon Stadium 2. What a surprise. Nice. Viceroy immediately nearing and starting corner pressure up on Juno. The Game & Watch, uh, a very strong character. A lot of characters struggle to deal with Game & Watch, but I do feel like Rosa having that disjoint that is Luma, it's going to be, and of course, Nair, Fair, it's going to be very good at dealing with that upbeat. You, know, you can kind of poke at it safely. And of course, the ultimate save character, Min Min, can pressure your shield from across the stage. So let's see if Orange Lightning can... Uh, create some pressure or some nice follow-ups to uh, mitigate the uh, threat to Game & Watch here. Or if uh, maybe, maybe Juno, Juno knows something I don't know and can uh, find some kills. Well, I like the attempt at the edge guard from Orange Lightning going so deep at the back here. But Viceroy, knowing the limits of his character, and that's going to be Orange Lightning actually losing his stock in an attempted edge guard. But, oh, the F-Smash interrupted. Great play from Viceroy. The teamwork and synergy between Viceroy and Amarks right now. Looking sharp. There we go, Luma going to die off the top there, but Viceroy, the one that holds the stock, staying alive. Nice follow from Orange Lightning, starting to get some ledge pressure versus Amarks, but Amarks just going to get up and survive that. Oh, the pin, not able to finish the kick. Lots of chaos there. It's any any setup moves and setups, uh, uh, setup situations are tough to execute in doubles just because of the chaos. He's looking for the up B there. We've got Viceroy losing his stock as well. So who's going to fall first, Amarks or Juno? Oh, the pin not getting the kick. And that's going to be Juno with a great follow-up on the back air. Franklin showing his teeth. Franklin the turtle, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm old. You don't know who that is. <laughs> there might be a new turtle hero these days. All right. Fairly low percent for the red team here, but Team Yellow... It is Franklin, see? At least somebody knows what's up. He can count by two to tie his shoes or whatever. I don't remember the little, the little rhyme. There's a rhyme for him. Trust, trust. But Orange Lightning actually uh, on his second stock here, and it would be high percent. So this could be a swing situation. If they find the stock on Juno, Orange Lightning stock gone again there. That's going to be three. Oh, that's it. Yep, three stocks to four. Suddenly, red team in the lead. That's what happens. Doubles very momentum based. If you're able to keep percent off of you, even if you're on a lower stock count, things can suddenly swing back in your favor. All right, Amark's trying to get I, uh, Viceroy helping to get out of the corner there. That's gonna be Juno finally dropping a, or no, Juno already got stuck. It's gonna be a pretty high percent for both Amarks and Viceroy. We could see a similar situation to what we just saw. If both of them lose stocks back to back suddenly, it's three to two. I can count, chat. All right, nice. I like the uh, heads up awareness from Amarks there, helping Viceroy recover. Ooh, surviving that kick. Great DI from Viceroy, but that's going to be Amarks dropping a stock. Suddenly three stocks all, but Viceroy's stock looking kind of bad here, looking kind of red. Ooh, surviving that there, and that's going to be uh, the Game & Watch falling. Such a back and forth set already. If Viceroy can stay alive a little longer, they can get some damage racked up or even kill off Orange Lightning here. 
hold on to that. He got 72%. That'll be a big swing, but we've seen uh, the yellow team here, Orange Lightning and Juno, come back from deficits and play really well uh, with their survivability. Orange Lightning kind of playing up front, keeping the pressure, letting Juno tank. Stay at low percent here. That's going to be a dead Luma. This is the time to aggress onto Viceroy, but Viceroy drifting to the other side of the stage. And now stage control belongs to the red team. Can they capitalize? Nice up smash from Amarx, but going to take a pin to the face. Oh my gosh. Great recovery from Amarx. Barely surviving that threat from Juno. Any weak hit would have uh, taken him out there. He didn't have a jump. Ooh. Oh no, that's a bad situation. Can Viceroy get there? It didn't matter. Minden actually randomly really heavy. Oh, that's going to be the clank. Oh, nice surviving there. Everyone at very high percent, and that's going to be the 2v1 in the favor of the red team. But Juno only at 55%, and both of our uh, Richmond locals here chilling in the red. So this isn't over by any means. We got to play safe and play smart. But Juno throwing those bombs out. Dropping bombs. And that down smash gonna take him out. It now suddenly we have an even 1v1 here. That down smash actually anti-air. That was crazy. Alright, nice play from A Marks. Just staying safe. I bet I bet this is one of Game Watch's tougher matchups until Game Watch gets the hit. And then once Min Min's off stage, it's pretty much free edge guards, but neutral is probably very tough. And that's gonna be the megawatt to finish things off. Game one going to Vice Run A Marks in this winner's final set. You love to see such good play from both teams. High level dubs action here, guys. And meanwhile in losers, there's some beasts down there, some sharks. So whoever gets the grands, they ain't necessarily safe. There's other teams that are fighting their way up from lower bracket, the bracket of alternative success, if you will. All right, Hollow Bastion is the pick. Great music on this stage. And honestly, one of my favorite competitive stages at this point. I think the stage is roomy enough. Stage control, of course, being important. Combos work well, but you're not super, super zoned out by the low platform in the middle because the stage is wide and flat. Unlike Smashville with the smaller sides, it makes that platform even more deadly once someone gets control of it. All right, speaking of deadly, red team poised to move into grants here on winner's side. The team of Min Min and Rosalina. What the heck is going on? <laughs> All right. Nice uh, Nair from Juno, not able to get a follow-up. And Viceroy already off stage versus Orange Lightning. I will say, I feel like Corin probably a good pick into a... What a down air for Viceroy! Oh, but barely getting back his Orange Lightning there. Able to survive. You're awake! <laughs> All right. We got the rest of Seville rolling up here. Singles bracket fleshing out nicely. Big parry there. Nice uh, stage control for the red team. But a pretty even game two so far. This is everything if if uh, yellow team takes this one, momentum often goes in the favor of the team that wins game two. So that could be the difference maker, but that's gonna be a nice stock pickup for uh, Amarks there. Killing off Orange Lightning, taking that stock. And again, Game & Watch died off the side as well. Nice recovery. Red team with the lead. Can they make anything happen? That's going to be, oh, good DI. And Juno going so low, but the great tech from Viceroy. His survivability crazy right now. And playing so safe around Game & Watch's shield. Dancing around that up B. Not going to get hit there. Orange Lightning, though, trying to clean the stock up off of Amarks to see if he can help close this gap a little bit, mitigate it, but he's already taken 80% off stage here. It's tough to get in, but that was a great pin from Orange Lightning, jumping forward, lunging over the arm, stabbing uh, Amarks in the chest. Very, very visceral, very violent gameplay here. So suddenly an even game, two stocks all, but the percent lead very much in the favor of the red team here. Orange Lightning is at 115, and of course, the higher percent, the more knockback. That means every hit's gonna be starting start to put you off stage. That is not where you wanna be as Corrin. Nice awareness there, gets the pin. Oh, actually hitting, Never mind hitting Game & Watch. Whoops, it happens. Gets the jabs here. Ooh, 
what's barely surviving there. And a great cleanup from Viceroy there. And he does lose his Luma in the process. Whenever Luma's gone, that's your chance to get in on Rosa. Nice dash attack there from Viceroy. Trying to get some percent onto Orange Lightning before he loses his stock. I actually, not, not in great danger of losing. Just kidding. That That's that's greatly dangerous. Oh, no. Killing his own teammate there with the M-Smash. The Chainsaw gives and it takes away. Four stocks at two. Nice swing in the favor of the red team. Ooh, big up smash there from the Game & Watch. It's a, that up smash, invincible, and it has very little lag. Hard to mess with. But a great heads up play from Orange Light. Gets a pin, cleans up the uh, the A Mark's stock there. Viceroy actually tanking at this point. Oh, wow, what a cool uh, there to back air conversion there. But the up B actually going to kill. It's hard to mess with that up B. I believe, I believe there's invincibility on it a little bit. Nice up air. Big up smash there. This is it. Everyone at one stock apiece. And that's going to be Min Min actually dying suddenly. And right now, suddenly, the yellow team with a lead here? That's crazy. I feel like they were playing from behind the whole time and they managed to clutch it up. We've seen that from them uh, earlier in the tournament as well. Let's see if Viceroy can stall long enough to get his Luma back. Great down air there, but that's going to be a recovery. Oh, couldn't capitalize because of where Game & Watch was there. And the up smash there. This is a 1v1 all of a sudden. All right, Viceroy looking to clutch this up, sending the yellow team to the lower bracket with a 2-0, but Juno not giving up yet, trying to get some damage going. Nice jabs, this is not gonna kill here, but close. That Luma jab, very strong. Viceroy threatening off stage, and that's gonna do it. The Luma down air, that's gonna be 2-0 in favor of the red team. Team Richmond moving on to winner's finals. Great stuff to them, but honestly, Orange Lightning Juno played super well. It's hard to, it's hard to say uh, who would take it in the run back, which they get the opportunity to get if they can win in the loser's finals. We'll see who they face off against there. But guys, thanks for hanging